Welcome to this video. Mozilla Firefox gets new anti-fingerprinting defenses. I will post the link down in the notes down in the video description to this article from bleepingcomputer.com as well as to one from pcworld.com and to Mozilla's own blog. But of course you can just do some searches and find plenty of articles on this topic. But regardless, for those of you out there who do not know what digital fingerprinting is, this is a technique that websites and online services use to track you outside of using cookies or tracking your IP address. Address. Just like with human fingers, changing your fingerprint could be very difficult, and so they're looking for unique things about your computer hardware, unique things about your browser, your browser settings, your time zone, fonts, language, things that you typically do not change frequently to create a unique fingerprint ID about you that will follow you across the internet. And to fight back against this, privacy browsers will try to stop or prevent this fingerprinting from happening. Now, I do want to contest the title here from PCWorld.com. It doesn't erase your digital fingerprint. As stated here on bleepingcomputer.com, it's an anti-fingerprinting defense to help prevent it. Now Mozilla claims that it will get single user tracking down from 60% to below 20%. Of course that needs to be independently verified, but that is Mozilla's claim. Here it lists the techniques that they're using. For example, this will include blocking scripts, inserting random data into Canvas, not informing of locally installed fonts, and sending wrong information such as screen resolution or CPU core count. Over here on Bleeping Computer, it's a little more specific on those same data points, but it also needs to be noted that this is available as a version 145, but the changes are only available by default in private browsing mode, though Bleeping Computer does specify that it's not just only in private mode, but you do have to set the ETPH to strict mode, and so to do that, if I go down here to Firefox and click on the menu in the top right and go to settings and then click on privacy and security, this is ETPS right here, enhanced tracking protection. By default, it will be on standard. What you want to do is set it to strict. And to get these added protections, again, you do need to be in a private window. And to do that, you just click the menu and go to private window, and it will be on by default. As noted, Mozilla is working on adding it to standard browsing, and so that will be coming. And when you're using this and going to different websites, by and large, things are going to work fine. You will notice some things not work the way they typically do. For example, if you go to a website with a bunch of social media embedded on it. Those will no longer be available in most cases, but by and large you should be fine. This is a very good thing for privacy. Again, this is a big reason why you should be using a privacy browser, not something like Google Chrome because they do not value this sort of protection. And I do encourage you when possible, regardless of what browser you're using, if it does offer fingerprinting defenses, try to make sure that those are turned to the max so that you can take advantage of them. That is everything for this video, but if you do have any comments or questions, please post them down below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and please consider sharing it. And if you would like to support the channel, go ahead and hit that join button to become a member for as low as 99 cents a month, the thanks button, the subscribe button, or that bell notification icon to get notifications on future videos. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you have a great day.